Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about strong software teams. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, how do you how do you know if a company has a strong te software team when they ask really basic questions? I was on an interview that I recently had and they were hiring a C for a senior position but they asked really basic stuff such as fixing a React component bug and asking me about the event loop in JavaScript. And in terms of overall architecture and technical questions, they were also nothing specifically deep. I'm sure I could pass this interview when I was a junior dev as well. And to be honest, most of the interviews I had were like this. So it seems that if the company doesn't check their future employees all that well, the team wouldn't be all that good. What questions should be asked to understand the level of a developer? To, could be asked to understand the level of a developer. Well, if uh, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there for you immediately. If somebody asks you about the event loop in JavaScript, well, this is where this, uh, mis this mismatch that I've talked about a few times between what I say, like what I expect, when if I say, yeah, I'm looking for a senior, a senior developer. What does that actually mean? Because I know senior developers who will not be able to tell me what the event loop is in JavaScript. And I know juniors who will be able to tell me what the event loop is. Kind of depends on what your preferences in uh, Tech Talk videos are. But I know that for a fact because I work with people like that. And that is the problem with saying senior and junior because it doesn't really mean anything uh, or rather it's very hard to determine it based on asking specific, some questions are like definitely senior level stuff and you can argue that knowing the event loop and knowing about the what that is could it couldn't be considered a senior level question it's really it really depends and see this is the thing you expect the questions to be harder and you ex because you expect more from a senior developer than these basic fixing a bug in a React component and so forth than what the company is expecting. But the thing is, if that is the way that they evaluate their future employees and they call them senior, then you have spotted something that is very interesting, which is another thing that I've said a hundred times before. The interview process is absolute shit. And that's the key thing here. If the interviewing process is bad and you are now, as you were saying, worried that, they, well, they're asking all these basic questions, but they call the people that they get in senior, um, well, what's your t what are your teammates going to be like? Now, you can't really know because, I mean, you could, of course, answer these questions and you're, well, let's just assume here that you're a really good developer. Uh, so it might be that other people have gone through the same thing. You might have 10 or like five, three or four really, really, really awesome uh, developers on the inside that you might get to work with now because they did the same thing and they probably felt the same way. Oh yeah, these questions were super, super easy, but they, like they're master programmers. But you could also be in a situation where you have uh, on the inside like a bunch of people who are, be, who, are, who are practically incompetent and just managed to, to, as I was saying, have the right preparations or just just happened to have had the fortune of reading the right blog articles before they got to this interview right. And that's what makes it so hard uh, to hire software developers and to know, especially if you're a software developer who has a desire to work with other quality software developers, to know who you're signing up to work with. You don't really know. And so what I will tell you is that you will have to do the only thing you can do to figure this out before you take the job. If that is your, otherwise you have to take the job and just see how it feels. And that is to meet the team. That is the only thing you can do. Anything less than that is going to be a guess on your part. Because as I said, even a really shitty software process of uh, like a hiring process can end up with a lot of really good developers on the inside, but you don't know. And so 
if you if I were you you well I have been you a few times now I've done this unconventional thing a few times now and it's actually funny because all like some companies are like really shocked that I do this and some of them feel like yeah yeah of course you're gonna have you're we're, we're gonna do this so some for, so this is not a practice that is going to be universally accepted but ask up front I expect before that uh, you uh, you I will expect to talk to my team to talk to the people who I'm going to work with, uh, either a lunch or whatever, before uh, this process is over. And in, if they're not willing to do that, then don't take the job. Just move on, because you can't evaluate how good your coworkers are going to be in any other way. And so, if you're gonna, if you get into that space, what usually, like, if you have a really good interviewing process, somewhere along the line, there should be a very experienced interviewer who most likely has been a software developer or there should be a software developer involved with social skills who asks you what I like to call value questions. The reason why I call them value questions is because they are questions that you cannot answer them incorrectly. It's not possible but you can tell how good and how mature and senior a person is based on how they answer the question. An example would be if I ask you, can you give me an example of what you feel is really hard about your job as a software developer? Now and I'm just going to take a really silly example here and I will say a junior level answer to that question is CSS is really hard or unit testing is really really hard. That is a junior level answer. A senior level answer would be something along the lines that getting the right specifications or figuring out how to avoid scope creep or unforeseen uh, specifications and, and context switching, these are things that are fairly hard. That is a mid at least mid-level senior level answer and you can go even higher up than that and you can have like, you know, these sorts of an you can have answers where like they they really really show you that these this is a person who's lived the life and i can spoil this for you a little bit depending on where you are in your career those sorts of questions they're going to be the thing that determines whether or not you get that job as an architect or a cto or whatever because the higher up the chain you go the more these sorts of questions and um, your way of thinking about how to do work is going to matter. Your tech skills are going to be tested of course, but there is a finite level uh, of tech skills that are required uh, before you get to a point where now it's really about do you know how to get real results or get good results and results are not just found uh, usually at the very least in uh, for most companies. Uh, results are uh, you can't just achieve them by having tech skills. You need to have uh, experience and maturity and insight and so forth and wisdom etc uh, etc et before you can uh, really make an impact. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to figure out if your future coworkers are any good there's no way for you to do that except for meeting the team and talking to them and you, you should so you should prepare your own questions the questions that I, I mean you can use these questions on both sides of the spectrum of wherever you are if you are hiring a software developer you have to ask them these sorts of questions I would argue because it is the easiest way for you to figure out how good they are based on well you need the technical sp aspect of course as well you can't just get the values because there are social very socially equipped and mature, mature minded developers who don't really produce all that well with the coding. So you, you still have to have that part with you, but you can't just look at the coding. You can't just do these sorts of things because uh, in my experience, from my, my view, my, my viewpoint here is that the company that you interviewed for, they have no, re like they have no real clue on how to hire software developers. And that is, a, that's something that is a very real factor guys some companies they don't really know how to hire software developers they use words like senior but they don't even know what it means and 
that's the problem like you don't know what the scene you for you this is a senior for them this is a senior they're just looking for someone to be able to do the job so you can't just trust the job specification and the fact that someone uses a title you really need to check your things and try to align on a value system and make sure that you have the same definition of the thing that you're talking about and the easiest way for you to do that is to say things like uh, I want to talk to the team. I want to talk to my coworkers and just figure out what you if these if these are supposed to be senior developers. I just want to figure out are they like from my perspective seniors? Because it doesn't matter what they call themselves. What matters is what they who they are, what they know, and then ask them open questions such as what is the, the hardest part about your job, etc., etc. These sorts of questions where there is no wrong answer here. The only thing that they, you can get is a sensation of, okay, how much living has this person done? How much reflection have they done? Have they been code monkeying away? Or like, are they a junior developer who basically can't get you, give you an answer to the question? Or are they like a master level programmer who teaches you something? If that's the thing that happens, if they give you an answer that you, didn't even, you haven't even thought about yourself, that's a very good indicator. Have a great day.